Tent Sleep Wyoming is pretty much in the middle of Wyoming, middle of nowhere Wyoming. In Tent Sleep, people are into working because it's, it's a very blue collar community. Um, everybody works for a living. Mostly agriculture, ranchers, farmers. My name is Mark Carter, professional snowboarder slash part-time rancher. Yeah, the ranch, it's definitely a big spread up on the Bighorns, west slope of the Bighorns, and we run, you know, close to five, 600 head of cow-calf pairs. Growing up, you were always working, doing something. I mean, we had fun, but a lot of it would just, you know, work. Everything involved cattle. So it, it, was, it was a lot of hands-on and, and uh, I mean, growing up on a ranch, bottom line, just taught me how to appreciate nature um, and just work hard. My brother and myself were now selling our beef direct off the ranch, Carter Country Meats, and yeah, it's just been really exciting to bring that to other people, to show them this is where the meat comes from. You see the excitement in their eyes, you know, because so many people don't even know, they think food just comes from the grocery store. For me to just pick my own vegetables and raise my own beef, it's, it's, it's super important. And now to be able to like branch out and share that with other people, it's a rewarding feeling for sure. It, it's, it's humbling being here, just snowboarding such a different world and Jackson's such a different world that you can kind of lose sense of your priorities and, and what your path is and where you're going. And for me to come back here and just kind of bury my roots, get back to my house. Uh, my friends have this amazing rope swing. You know, the rope swing's good for me and I think that's why I like to hit it, is just it kind of gives you a little taste of that fear in the summer. You kind of just got to turn it back on a little bit, breathe, and it's just perfect. It's great in the summer to be able to jump back and forth. Carol has this amazing garden. Go grab some, uh, some fresh veggies for dinner. And I really enjoy cooking. For me to just pick my own vegetables and raise my own beef, it's what you consume. You are what you eat. And it's just important to uh, eat healthy, eat local. If I can see something grow and I know where it comes from, I know it's healthy, I know it's good for you. Yeah get creative and cook it on my Traeger grill, solid. It's, it's the perfect grill for somebody that's busy, who wants like the slow cooked, smoked, amazing flavor, but just doesn't really have time to tend to fire all day. Having the Traeger and being able to just kind of experiment with all the different pellets and the hardwoods, that doesn't make sense to take an amazing cut of meat and go throw it over propane fire. I mean, that's kind of disrespectful, really. So, I mean, the Traeger's perfect, they just, Cook it with some love and end it with a family barbecue, you know, and that, I mean, that's the reason I'm here is to hang out with my family, so I really like to barbecue at my house and have everybody over. And to, to be able to cook meat from my ranch, for my family, and have like my little seven-year-old nephew tell me that that meat was awesome, I'm like, that's it. No, that's it. What, what else do you need? It's good living.